It is the Mike Cho. It's the uh, Tuesday edition. That brings us Megan Huffman from Share Greater Lynchburg. But you've also brought another Megan. So, I did. I, so it's the Megan Squared twice or the Megan Squared. M- Megan, the Megan and Megan, the yeah. Megan and. Megan show uh-huh. <laughs> because it's spelled a little differently. Yeah, with, it with is different. M E H That's right. G A N, which is yeah. awesome. I haven't collected that one on my journeys yet. That's great. Yeah, it's uh, a Megan Fest. It yeah. is. It's 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 Megan Fest 2024 uh, here on the program, and um, each and every Tuesday, uh, Megan, this Megan, mm-hmm. joins us uh, on the program, and she brings us a great guest. This Megan, right there, uh, and uh, and Megan. Uh, who is your guest, and uh, and and what does she do? Great. Well, I'm delighted to have um, Megan McCrickert with the Chief Operating Officer for Johnson Health Center with us today. Okay. Uh, Johnson Health is an amazing organization that we've been our community benefits so much from, and um, I don't know that I don't think we've had Johnson Health on the show yet. So I'm really excited to hear about what they're doing and um, some exciting upcoming uh, openings of a facility that they're going to talk about today. So Megan's here. Mm -hmm. Megan, welcome to the program. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So uh, tell us about Johnson Health Center. Absolutely. Um, So Johnson Health Center has been around in the area for 25 years now. Um, We're a federally qualified health center. And what that means is that we get a little bit of federal grant money and we use that to improve access to health care, especially for vulnerable pop- populations, people who don't have insurance, or maybe their insurance doesn't cover all of the cost of their health care. So we serve everybody. Um, we typically serve about 25,000 patients in the area with about 100,000 patient visits per year. Wow. Um, We've got lots of different services that we offer. So we do primary care um, for adult and pediatric patients. We do dental care. Um, We've got behavioral health in all of our facilities uh, and OBGYN as well. Wow. That is is tremendous. Uh, And how long have you been doing this? How long have I been doing well, this? Well, yeah, but how long has Johnson Health Center been uh, been doing this? Johnson Health Center has been doing this for 25 years. In uh, 1999, Centra opened the original form of Johnson Health Center, okay. um, and it was more of a free clinic type of a setting at that point. Um, and in 2003, um, Johnson Health Center got its designation as an FQHC. Okay. Um, So I understand you're in multiple locations right now, uh, but you're going to be opening yet another location. That's Uh, right. Tell us about that. Sure. So um, Johnson serves Lynchburg and the surrounding counties. We've got facilities in Lynchburg City, Campbell County, uh, Bedford County, and the one that we're here to talk about today that we're really excited about is Amherst County. Um, So we've had a site in Amherst County for almost going on 10 years now, and we've really, that site grew faster than we were really expecting it to. Um, We are out of space. It houses both our administrative staff and our primary care offerings in in Madison Heights. And so a few years ago, we recognized that we were really outgrowing the space and the land beside us was up for sale. So Mm -hmm. we bought that a few years ago and we've been planning since then. And um, we've been spending the last couple of years building a new facility that's right next door to our current facility. Okay. Um, but it's a huge expansion, so it's about 22,000 square feet. Wow. wow. Um, we will be able to have our dental, behavioral health, our medical services all under one roof, which we've really found serves patients the best. Yeah, that's great. And then we've added some other things that are cool that we don't have in our other locations. Um, for example, we have a gym in this location that's available to our staff and our patients as well Wow, Um, and a teaching kitchen so we can do a little education with our patients about how to store and prepare healthy foods that's tremendous that is uh, that is fantastic and how long have you been with Johnson personally oh man (laughs) I've been with Johnson for almost 15 years personally I started Mm. off um, working clinically in behavioral health and then just kind of moved around a little bit because I figured out I, I really loved the love the organization and the mission okay Mm -hmm. well this is this is tremendous when does the new uh facility open so june 3rd will be our first day seeing medical patients and june 17th is our first day seeing dental patients so 
All right. Well, mm-hmm. congratulations. Thank Fantastic. you so much. This is uh, this is awesome. Uh, in 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 a in a world, and it sounds like a movie uh, uh, opening, uh, but in a, in a world where uh, where healthcare and especially affordable healthcare uh, and access to healthcare is 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 such a challenge for some folks. Uh, it's nice to know that we have so many different options uh, here in our area. We're really excited to be part of a um, not just an option, but a solution for patients yeah. that maybe can't get care elsewhere. Um, we also offer our patients transportation. We found that's a, a big barrier for a lot of patients, so um, we do that for free. Wow. Um, any of our patients that need a ride to their um, to their appointment can call us and set that up. Um, we're adding a pharmacy in our new location too. That'll be our wow. third physical pharmacy. Um, this one with a drive-through window, so okay. patients won't even have to get out. <laughs> that, this is this is all tremendous. Yeah, all it really right. seems like a model that a lot of organizations can learn from. I, I know, and, sure. and it's I'm always amazed at when I meet Johnson Health staff that the retention that you all have of employees is incredible, especially in the nonprofit sector. When sometimes we can be it can be trans or in medical sectors it can be transient but people seem to stick they do they, they love it they do yeah. it's it's tough to hire people right now in this mm-hmm. climate but um we're really lucky that our staff for i mean for the most part they're very loyal mm. they stay for lots of years we've got um you know i've been there 15 years but we've got lots of staff yeah. that have been there longer than me so it's a great culture That's really yeah great, great. That's tremendous. Now, will there be a um, any kind of open house or ribbon cutting that we like we could come out and see the place absolutely um so the first saturday in august we're doing a back to school care fair which is a free oh, yeah. event that we do every year we have done it in lynchburg historically but this year we're going to do that at our Madison Heights location to give people an opportunity to see the new building. Um, We give out free school supplies. There will be other community partners there with free handouts and information. Um, And then we have a more formal ribbon cutting on September 19th. That's great. Mm -hmm. That was tremendous. We'll definitely advertise the back to school fair on Share Greater Lynchburg. So we'll get that up uh, in time for that. And we'd love to take part too. We'd love to have Um, you. But, Absolutely, mm-hmm. yeah. This is uh, this is all tremendous, uh, uh, fantastic news. Uh, in in again in 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 the world of healthcare uh, in our area, this is this is a, a fantastic solution. So thank you for all you do. Uh, you can learn more about Johnson Health Center if you go to sharegreaterlynchburg.org. Just type in Johnson Health Center, and you'll learn about uh, their organization uh, plus their tenth annual back to school care fair and community open house. Uh, keep up to date with them. Uh, there's links to all of their uh, website and social media and all that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and do you, do you guys need anything? Do you guys need any any volunteers or anything like that? Um, wow, that's a great question. Um, we don't have a ton of volunteers, um, but we're always looking for people who are interested. There's an option to donate or let us know how you might like to volunteer on our website. Okay. So. Um, please, anybody that's interested, feel free to reach out, um, and we're happy to partner with anybody. Mm-hmm. No, that's uh, that's all fantastic. Um, again, you can visit sharegreaterlynchburg.org. Uh, learn about the the 175 still mm-hmm. 175 mm-hmm. nonprofit organizations that are on the Share platform. Uh, and if you're part of a nonprofit organization and you're not currently on the Share platform, uh, it's free. Reach out to the folks at Share Greater Lynchburg, uh, and you can learn more. Uh, you can uh, get your page uh, on their site, and it, it really is a kind of a one-stop shop uh, for everything nonprofit. If if you are looking for a nonprofit that uh, kind of suits uh, suits your your uh, I, I guess your background or or uh, your interests you know, a, or your needs, yeah, yeah, or, a, yeah. A, 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 cause, a cause you're you're passionate about, uh, you can search yeah. Share Greater Lynchburg and find it. Uh, you can make donations right on the page. Uh, you can buy things for that organization. They've got a wish list. Uh, and uh, you could even volunteer and find volunteer opportunities at sharegreaterlynchburg.org. Um, so Share is part of the uh, Greater Lynchburg Community mm-hmm. Foundation. Uh, tell us how that's going. Yeah, great. Uh, GLCF is busy right now. We're in scholarship mode where we are have the great privilege of going to all the scholarship um receptions at all the local high schools in the region to award uh, 
scholarships that have been set up by generous community members starting funds and then they've designated them for various schools or students student populations or students going into CTE or you know any anything any any specific thing um, so we're really excited that we get to work with the uh, different guidance departments to nominate identify students that qualify for these scholarships and then we're in the the rewarding part of being able to award those scholarships um, we're also in the final phases of uh, a committee's deciding about the century fund which is our one time once a year one hundred thousand dollar transformational grant that goes that goes out so they're in the final deliberation on that okay. and we also have our spring cycle wrapping up right now I think I mentioned last week that we have a really neat event coming up where we're going to be doing a ribbon cutting for an island in the middle of the James River um, that is being handed off um, from a, a gift to the foundation um, to preserve it and now it's going to be going it has been handed off to the Central Virginia um, Land, Land Conservancy okay. and we're going to be doing a paddle and canoe event on May 23rd at 9 a.m. We're going to meet at Monacan Park and we're just inviting everyone in the community who enjoys water sports to come out and be part of this special event where we're going to be um, ceremonially handing off uh, this island for for preservation forever. That is tremendous. Um, and we are we have so much media interest. Um, <laughs> we have a meteorologist. We have some radio talent. We have TV folks coming. We've got some dignitaries. Nice. Um, we're really excited about how excited people are about conservation. It's an important topic, and we need to uh, take care of our waterways and our our creatures and this is a great way to, to do that so i think mike you're coming right i i am i am going to paddle uh with bill as yes. long as long as <laughs> as long as bill provides me with uh with the means of of paddling because i because i don't want to be on a log or anything <laughs> Just last week, James River Association agreed to help us bring about 20 ki- uh, canoes out for oh, those wow. who don't have a okay. craft. I've got an extra kayak for you. You got but an extra kayak? Yeah, Bill's got you, uh, yeah. got you set up, so no, we're really excited about that. Because I know you don't float. Well, <laughs> no, I sink. Uh, but what, no, what will end up happening is, 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 is it just for one person or two? Because if I know you, you'll be in the back <laughs> and you'll be like, no. paddle, 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 and I'll be the one paddling. <laughs> And you'll just be back there, you know, with, you, with your legs kicked up. I'm shocked. <laughs> no, you'll have your own kayak. Oh, okay. Motor boy. So, so can <laughs> you're can, excited? You're you're all set up. I am. I am. Yeah. So, so can we can we have like water wars while we're no on the way? no? Okay, fine. <laughs> not a, we're not having wars. This is a peaceful thing. Okay, fine. You have to well, be on your best behavior. Come we do on. have I know, some, I know. you know. I'm fine. Political fine. dignitaries <laughs> that are joining us. It, it is. It is not. It's not every day you give away an island. I know. It's okay? not every day. It's, it's Bald Eagle Island too. It's really cool. Yeah. Is, yeah it's, and and I I didn't. It was two acres is what it is. I think okay. you had to ask last time. There's just a yeah. little section that we can pull the canoes and kayaks up on. This is so tremendous. Really I'm exciting. really looking forward to it. It's not Manhattan, but it's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, additionally, I just wanted to mention that Share Greater Lynchburg is having our monthly lunch and learn next Tuesday. It's usually on Wednesdays, but we moved it to Tuesday uh, inside of a Habitat house okay. on Knott Street. So there's a house that's uh, under roof enough that we can come in and, and enjoy a meal and just learn more about the process that Habitat families go through and most people know that the families are very involved in the in the process and, and sort of the financing and all that, but uh, just a little deeper understanding because a lot of our nonprofit community have clients that uh, could use assistance with housing, maybe yeah. some unhoused clients who could possibly get in the pipeline for a Habitat that's, House. That's so fantastic. this is just an opportunity to learn a little de- more deeply what the Greater Lynchburg um, Habitat for Humanity has been doing for so long. And so I think we have space for 20 and I think think we have about eight spots left or something like okay. that so uh that's again a week from today so All right. mm-hmm. uh, you can learn more again by uh, visiting sharegreaterlynchburg.org uh and uh, uh click on it uh subscribe to the newsletter yeah uh and get that mm-hmm. uh on the regular and and i see it's 176 oh is now on the snuck website in there yeah so so Oops. i have to i have to change <laughs> i have to change your ticker uh here at the bottom to reflect the change, save. That's and right. Then click on That's that. Right. Boom. Now it's, it's 176. Just, just somebody got in there while we were talking. That's I right. I don't know. <laughs> no, probably not. Um, Megan and Megan, uh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much for joining us on the program. We really appreciate it. And we appreciate all the great work that your organizations do. Thank you, Mike. And thank Bill, you. 
Yeah. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. yeah. No, no water wars for you. <laughs> okay. All right. It is the Mike Show coming up uh, a little bit later on. We've got your audio vault. Stay tuned for that.